Hey guys, I'm really happy to be back here on YouTube and to talk to you guys again. This video is going to be a little video about what I'm doing with my life at the moment and what my plans for the future are. I've been getting a lot of questions mainly on my biggest platform, Instagram, about what I'm doing. If I'm going to university, if I'm taking another gap year, like what am I doing? I thought it would also be very interesting for you guys to know what I'm doing with my life because you only like see the videos of me traveling or what I eat and you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes so I thought I'd really like to fill you in with what I'm doing. So basically right now I am taking my second gap year. <laughs> I graduated from an international school in May 2014 and when I graduated I was sure that I did not want to go to uni straight away. I was unsure of what I wanted to study and where I wanted to study and as I've always been really into traveling taking gap year was like I knew it. Like I knew I was going to take a gap year and my parents were also really supportive with it. So during my first gap year I traveled to Thailand, Barcelona, China, Cape Town, Hawaii, Namibia, LA and a couple of other places so I was able to travel a lot and when the time came for me to um, yeah apply for other unis I realized that it was actually kind of too late. It was like August and then I realized now it's too late for me to apply and because I after the first year I figured out what I wanted to study which I'm really happy with at least now I know what I want to do I think I want to get into journalism or communications um, yeah because I'm really passionate about writing and English and German have always been my favorite subjects at school but I'm still uncertain of where I want to go so I decided because things were actually flowing really well in my life like stuff was happening and everything was going really well and I was just, you know, when you sometimes have a feeling that, yeah, this is the right thing for me, like, this is gonna work. And I didn't have that, like, I didn't have, like, the input that, oh, yes, I really wanna go to the university. And if I go to uni, I wanna have that. I wanna be inspired, I wanna be excited, I wanna look forward to the place I'm going to. And I didn't have any university that I felt like really going to. So I decided, okay, instead of going somewhere and maybe ending up unhappy and not being able to realize all the things that I still wanna do before I go to uni. I might just take another gap year and also those of you who follow me on Instagram know that and my sister just graduated um, this year so I was really excited because that meant that I finally had a travel buddy because before I always had to travel alone and with Julia graduating that meant I finally had someone to travel with and I really wanted to seize that opportunity and see more countries that were still on my list. Anyway now I'm basically on my second gap year and I've also traveled a lot already. I've been to London and Bali and right now I'm in Cape Town and for those of you asking like how do I do it how do I travel so much what like how can I afford everything I'm going to make a video about that very soon because that question has been asked so so many times but just to give you guys a short inside what do I just do with my hands um I basically travel and then I go back to Munich to work and I travel again so I don't really work while I travel when I'm home in Munich I either do modeling jobs which are great you know because they pay pretty well or I work um, as like a service personal. So basically, it's like if restaurants need like a I'm like in this. I don't have to describe. It's really hard. Basically, it's like a waitress. So I work as a waitress from time to time. Like you don't earn a lot of money, but it's, it's okay. And it's actually a really great life experience. Like I really like it because it <laughs> has made me realize that I never want to work as a waitress or yeah, that's, or in like a hotel and stuff like that is actually helped me. Even if you don't like your job, it makes you realize that it's something you don't want to do later on in life and from now it's just a, for earning like a little bit of extra money. So yeah, the reason that I'm not going to university or right now is not because I don't believe in like not going to university. I'm someone who loves studying. I love like getting more knowledge and I feel like I don't feel like I know everything I feel like I want to know so much more. I want to learn how to improve my writing. I want to learn so so much but I just haven't felt that spark, that like connection yet. Like I feel with everything in life, you know, you know whether it's right or wrong or whether it like aligns with where you are in your life right now and where you're supposed to be going. And I feel that, you know, for example, you know, you walk along the street and you know that, for example, you want to start yoga and then you see like this big yoga sign of like a new yoga center opening up. That's what I feel like is like a flow in life. And that's what life really is. like when things that are supposed to happen in your life happen and of course you know you have to pick out things and life's not always going to be easy but I just haven't felt that it has fit into my life right now and I don't think I should like force myself to just 
go someplace that I'm not even like happy with. Yeah, I just want to wait till I find a university that I'm really like excited to go to that I'm excited to go to every day and that I want to learn more from. And yeah, so far that hasn't happened yet and I don't see why I shouldn't continue doing like my travel work basically what I'm doing at the moment because traveling makes me so incredibly happy. I don't think anything else makes me that happy because when I'm in special places I just feel so inspired like it's it's insane I just feel like all these things come to me like I meet these people I've got these ideas and I just feel so at peace like with life and it's truly amazing so that was like a short insight into what I'm doing I'm taking a second like if I tell people I'm taking a second gap year, they're like what's wrong with you Janine like you you were like good in school like why are you doing this but I don't, I really don't mind because I feel like I've already learned so much more than uni can ever teach me. Like I've learned so many real life lessons that I'm really grateful for. So yeah, right now I'm in Cape Town, but in a couple of days I'm gonna fly back to Munich because I have like a couple of modeling jobs. And I'm also invited to Fashion Week for some shows with my blog, which I'm so excited. I don't know what to like, I'm so excited for that. Um, yeah, it's the first time that I'm going to Fashion Week and after that I'm planning to come back to Cape Town with my sister in February for a month. Oh yeah, so if you're watching this and if you're from Cape Town, um, I was thinking, you know, maybe we could do like a meetup or uh, like a fruit luck or whatever. So please comment that below because that would be really interesting. Yeah, um, that's me. That's my life at the moment. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share, share it with you guys because I love your support and I just really like love sharing stuff over YouTube. So that's it. Please let me know what videos you'd like to see in the near future as well because then we can make them. See you soon!